Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really quick UI tip when working with galleries and power apps. So sometimes when working with galleries, your data source might only have a few columns, but you have a whole gallery and then a whole screen to fill with that information. So in our example, we just have kind of a dummy PTO request app. You can see our data source only has three columns. We have employee name, the leave date, when they're returning, and then a couple buttons to approve or reject. And the problem is that even though we've been able to fill up a big chunk of our screen with our PTO record status selector, let's call it, we still have a bunch of space to fill up here and there's just not enough information in the record to show. So the solution to this is the gallery property wrap count. You can click on your gallery and you can find it down here on the right. Or we could come up to the left hand side and type in wrap count um, and we can change it manually here. So what this is really doing is changing how many columns or rows are showing based on the type of gallery. So right here you can see we have a vertical gallery, so we see multiple rows of data in one column. And on the other hand, if we had a horizontal gallery, we'd have multiple columns of data in one row. And the cool part about the wrap count property is that we can add a column or row based on the gallery we're using. So if we were to change this wrap count to two, we would have two columns of data with multiple rows. And that's gonna allow us to show more records on the screen at once while also allowing us to fill up a lot of that white space that's in our app right now. So I'm gonna start by moving over my buttons to the left side um, and getting some of my text over. That will make that look a little better in a bit, but for now we're just gonna click on the gallery and make sure we're not in the template, and we're gonna change the wrap count to two. So right now we kind of have a mess, but you can see that now we have multiple columns um, showing our PTO requests. So we're gonna start by resizing our background, uh, move that back over to the left, and we'll resize this kind of header. And now we're looking much better, but I'm going to resize some of this text and I'll be right back. So we've taken out a lot of the white space on the screen, um, and now you can view more of the records on screen at once and kind of go through them quicker. Again, it's very situational depending on what type of information you're working with, but I do think this is a really cool UI thing to keep in mind when you're working with galleries, um, and not just in situations where you might have limited columns, but even records that might have you know, 15, 20 columns, um, this is still pretty useful in my opinion. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or what you think about this trick in the comments below and maybe what you want to see next time. Uh, with that, we'll catch you in the next video.